Merry Christmas and welcome to part 3 of Mega Man X6. After beating Rainy Turtleoid and getting Zero, we now have the means to defeat Metal Shark Player, although we can beat him with X. Still, I would rather beat the stage with Zero. Just cause. Anyway, Metal Shark Player, or should I say Metal Shark Prayer, but unfortunately translation or lack thereof, resides in a crusher section in the junkyard, or the scrapyard, to say the least. This section is a throwback to Dustman stage from Mega Man 4, and of course the uh, Wily stage from, I think Wily stage uh, 2, I do believe, from Mega Man 5, that also had a crusher section. But whatever the case, I personally do not like this stage. Although I am trying to make it, the first part of this stage easy by putting the right under armor, I mean the right armor, sorry, underneath the uh, crusher section so that the crusher section will not kill me. And even if I do that, there will be mavericks that just all of a sudden explode. I don't know why, but they do. Even though they're not even crushed. But whatever the case, with lousy programming like that, you can expect to see that in the rest of the stage. But there is no right armor here. You better be fast to kill nightmares and better be quick. Because I forgot to mention, nightmares tend to fade through the screen or through environments. They'll more than likely get you crushed, and more importantly, they will more than likely uh, capture one of your Repoid friends and turn them into a Maverick if you don't save them. There are sometimes these cheap bastards actually turn them even though you save them. This has actually happened to me before, and of all the parts it happened to, it's the Jumper. Yeah, I'm just going Devil May Care on this one. But anyway... <clears throat> Metal Shark Player, I feel, was a missed opportunity, speaking of which, my missed opportunity to leave out the uh, area before I got crushed. And it started up me all the way over from here. Heh. <sighs> Don't expect this to be a perfect playthrough, because I promise you, I die a lot. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes. The missed opportunity with Metal Shark Player, Metal Shark Player is actually a robot necromancer. He brings back dead robots. Here's where the missed opportunity came in. Zero just recently came from the dead. More importantly, there was a nightmare version of him. Who's to say that he wasn't the one to bring him from the dead? But no, we get Zero hit himself to repair himself, and I was also referring to the last part, which he actually did say that. Whatever the case, there's so much missed opportunities to try to make a cohesive story. And to be perfectly honest with you, if I was on board, I would more than likely make the story of Mega Man X6 more believable than the fact that uh, Zero's back from the dead, and, uh, Sigma's back from the dead. Dead, go deal with that shit. Oh god, I almost died. I'm gonna go down the stairs. Because if I go across, that's gonna lead to the nightmare area. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Anyway. We are on the second section, and... I need to take back something. This is the only other stage that actually uses a nightmare gate for the second half of the stage. Uh, and this one's rather annoying. Oh, by the way, if you just so happen to beat Ground Scarifage and Blizzard Wolfang, you'll see how annoying the stage can really be. Especially if you beat Ground Scarifage. You see where that crusher is right there? You'll get uh, black, red, or brown blocks in the area. And this conveyor belt will be active at all times. 
Actually, no, the, act the conveyor belt will be off if you defeat its ground scarifage. However, there will be blocks in the vicinity. I'm just gonna tell you that the ma the re the uh, nightmare effects for all of the uh, nightmare investigators they are randomly going to happen. You never know which one is going to happen so long as you visit a certain stage. You'll never know when it's going to happen. You'll never know how long it's going to... God damn, that sucked. You'll never know how long it's going to last. Hell, it could even start before even visiting the first stage. Now, I have seen some playthroughs, especially, uh... A person that's very familiar to everyone. Oh god, I just died there. The Great Clement! I've seen his playthrough of Mega Man X6, and we all know how much that guy loves this game. But, uh... He also had did a preview before he actually did the playthrough of Mega Man X6. And the very first stage he took on was Rainy Turtleoid. When he did... Oh, goddamn stupid nightmare! Ah, thank you, we're right back to this area. By the way, every time you die, you start all the way back from where the, uh... stage, like, dropped you off after you got through the nightmare gate. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. He played the Rainy Turtleoid stage, and when he did, um... And that was the first Maverick. Infinity Maginion's Nightmare Effect came, and the stage was dark, he couldn't even play. And he, and Rainy Turtleoid was the first Maverick. It was really insane, to be perfectly honest with you. And although it was funny to see him rage, it can be infuriating to see that the Nightmare Effects just ignore the rules of the game. I've had one time when I actually decided, hey, I'm going to take on uh, Commander Yanmar. Stage goes dark, and he's the first Maverick I take on. Hell, there was even one time I actually decided to take on Infinity Maginion. Fireballs everywhere. Very first Maverick. What the hell? But whatever the case, speaking of things that is a nightmare, this is the Nightmare Crusher. It drops bombs, and its weaknesses are three perp no, you know, three cannons that have uh, purple jewels on them. They are the obvious weakness. However, this moving conveyor belt makes things a little bit difficult to destroy. And I've lost my life several times. Now, see, X would not have a problem with this stage. Zero, uh, I don't know why, but he does. Or is it just me? It must be just me. Oh, I think I know why. Zero has to be close range. And unfortunately, that would mean... Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh no. He also will try to crush you too. There's that thing as well. And be careful because this uh, cannon boss right here will also try to crush you as well. Once you destroy all three cannons, now you can go and proceed to Metal Shark Player. And here's why I ignored the nightmare area of Metal Shark Player. That leads to a um, Dr. Light capsule, but you're gonna need the blade armor to get it. Speaking of which, here's Metal Shark Player now. Come on out there, buddy. What are you doing? I don't have time for this. What do you want, Metal Shark player? I want DNA. Excellent DNA. But I don't need your DNA data. Shut up and fight. Fine. <laughs> Here is the deal with Metal Shark player. He will throw metal anchors, he will try to, uh, no, he will not try to, I mean, he will actually 
go across the ground like an actual shark. And I just died there. My bad, my apologies. <clears throat> and he will continue to throw metal anchors. Now, I forgot to mention something with Rady Turtle Lloyd and every other Maverick. Normal and extreme mode, they will have a desperation attack. For Randy Turtleoid, he had the uh, Meteor Ray and he does his little dashing attack. For Metal Shark player, if you uh, knock down his health enough, he will summon one of three Mavericks. Either one, he'll summon Blast Hornet, two, he'll summon uh, Magnus Centipede, or three, he'll summon Sting Chameleon. However, before he gets the chance to do that, if you keep doing the in Sweezen, the technique you learned from Ready Turtleoid, you can end this match no problem. Hell, even the um, Z Buster can kill this thing real quickly. As for X, just use the Meteor Rain on him, and also if you have the Ray Arrow, charge it and it'll kill him instantly. In three shots, I kid you not. But whatever the case, we've got the metal anchor. And for X, you can fire two anchors, they bounce across the ground. Charge it, and you'll summon a whole flock of storm eagles. For Zero, you have the Raiko Kujin, which is the downward slash that when Zero crashes onto the ground, two anchors will split apart. Both of these techniques are good to destroying Metal Shark player's nightmare effect, which is in. Blaze Heatnix and Infinity Maginion. God damn, I'm gonna have to deal with that stage. And also, Ground Scaravich, there are metal blocks that will appear. And those blocks can do some damage to you if you are underneath them. It's a pain in the ass, but sometimes they can be platforms too, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I've got myself a weapon plus a heart tank. And also a Saber Extend. That is pretty cool. Metal Shark Player, an ex-investigator of Recycle Team. You mean of the Recycle Team. Translation Error. He studied recycling in order to create a new Reploid from parts of disposed Mavericks. His most important work was to analyze and control DNA data of the Mavericks. That does not sound good. His analysis abilities was so great that he succeeded in resurrecting dead Mavericks. Like I said, Necromancer. Since DNA resurrection is explicitly prohibited, the law instantly dealt with him. Gate was also interested in DNA resurrection so he encouraged him to collect the DNA data instead of stopping him. Metal Shark would have continued if Gate had stopped him. You mean, had Gate stopped him? No, would not have continued had Gate stopped him. Ah, translation error. I don't care. But whatever the case, we've got the weakness weapon for... Shield Sheldon, which is the next target on our list. This is Arvan985. See you guys next time and screw that crusher section.